Hey everybody and welcome back. So in this video we are going to make a couple of tweaks to our UI. Before we get started a huge thank you to all of my members and patrons. Your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of this video. If you are interested in supporting the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up. You can visit the Patreon in the description below or you can simply join the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's jump into this then. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this navigation button and we're going to cut it out uh, like so. And we're going to add a new screen. So we're going to go to new file in our screens folder and we're going to call this one topbar.rpy. And we're going to declare a new screen called, uh, I'm going to give it a capital T and a capital B, like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is dump that in there, like that. Now all we need to do is copy this by control C, come back into our main UI. And the absolute last thing that we need to put onto the screen uh, after the nav menu and before the notification overlay, is simply just type in use top bar like that. Now what's going to happen is the menu buttons are still going to appear or rather the navigation logo is still going to appear in the top left hand corner. But now we've got it inside its own screen and that's going to be our screen for all of our gubbins that we might want to put in the top. Now one of the other things that I want to put into the um, UI button up here is something in the top right hand corner and what I'm going to put in there is going to be a next button so that when we're writing and debugging our story we can simply hit next to move on to the next part of the story so we can skip forward if we so desire. So the first thing we want to do is inside our frame we're actually going to create an hbox like so and then this is going to go like that and then we can simply create another button and this one's just going to be a text button and we're going to just say uh, next in there and we're going to give it an action and we're just going to say that variable I'm going to spell variable correctly And we're going to come back into one of our other UIs and we can just copy that there. Control C that. And we're going to set our click type and we're just going to say a next. Like so. And then we're going to say return. In fact, even better, what we'll do is we'll say click type UI and then we will return and we can again come back to our nav map and check our text there like that so we can just copy and paste that and then instead of returning that we're going to just delete that and we're going to type next like so now what's going to happen is in the uh, top bar we're going to have our navigation menu button same as before but now we're going to have a text button next to it which is going to allow us to click and move on so all we need to do is come into our script and where it says if click type you can just copy that as well if click type equals ui If UI return equals next, and then we just simply call like that. There we go. And it should just be as simple as that. So, in order to test that, what we're going to do is quickly load up our file, run it like so, quickly come in there, and as you can see, there's our text button there. Happy days. Now, if we go into our garden, as you can see, Beth is currently seated. So if we hit next, you can see that we've moved on to the next part of the story. If we click on it, this is chapter one, sequence one, as opposed to sequence zero. So we know that we have moved on like 
we wanted to. Now, the reason that this is useful, aside from making it debugging, is that in certain instances, you may want to have a uh, simply a button that moves on to the next part of the storyline for your players, if they're in perhaps a tutorial or something like that. There may be an opportunity for them to just click on an arrow that says next or something like that. And we can actually create buttons which will allow us to do it and put it inside that particular UI. So in our top bar, we can add all kinds of wonderful things. So what we can do in the next video is we're actually going to create a class which will contain all of the information that we need to be able to populate our top bar with buttons that do different functions and it will allow us the ability to turn those buttons on and off depending on where we are in the game. I hope you found that useful guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves guys. Bye bye.